Hey, well, there's the old muffler. I just wanted to show you it. I got the new muffler installed, and I have that crack in the tailpipe, so it's not completely quiet. Sorry, my rag. So it's not completely quiet, but it's much, much better without this fart can thing going on. And also, something interesting. That thing's completely hollow. It's got like little... It's got like weaves around the edges, that's it. With hole, I think they have holes in them, I'm not sure. Just crazy. Anyways. Literally, only thing you really need... One ratchet. One socket. Pretty easy. I'm trying to keep the license plate out of there. Civic AX 1998. But it's done. You can still hear a little bit of a wah to it, but you can't really hear much inside. So I'm going to start it up, show you on the inside, show you on the outside. By the way, quick tip. Way to tell where your exhaust gases are leaking, if you know you have a leak. If you don't know, if you're not sure you have a leak, wouldn't recommend doing this because you can possibly harm your engine. But normally if you... I'm just going to tell you. You stick a rag inside the tailpipe, block it up. That way all the exa uh, exhaust gas escape somewhere else. And if you don't have a leak, I mean, it should automatically blow the rag out. But if it doesn't, uh, like if you have a tiny four-cylinder like this, it could be causing too much back pressure for the engine, which, under a certain circumstance, like one in a billion circumstance, you could blow it. Like, literally, one in a billion. So just a warning. It's very unlikely you can hurt your engine by doing this, but I guess it's happened before. I've heard, I think, two mechanics tell me that. That's happened before. They went to go block it up with... Although one of them was aluminum foil, so that's just dumb in the first place. And the other one said it was a rag, but it was completely balled up. So be careful. You don't really need to force it in there. You just do it. Just stick it in there enough that it restricts the flow a little bit. You don't find it. By the way, quick tip. Um... Yeah, little kitties that are probably feral and probably need to be shot, but anyways. Um, the Where the flange meets up on the back of the muffler, and you guys see the end of the muffler towards the engine side, that flange, you have a gasket that you need to put on in the between there. But you need to take a wire brush to it or a die grinder with a wire wheel to it and kind of get rid of most of that because otherwise that gasket won't sit well and you can pinch it. And when you pinch it, it'll leak, which is... That happened to me, and I had to take it back off and put it back on. So, that was weird. Anyways. 161.557. Still running like a champ. Now let's close the door. Normally you'd hear a really good wand to it. I just need to fix that crack. Actually, I'm just going to let it idle and keep heating it up. So I guess it needs to get hot and mesh. But I'll show you where it's cracked at. Can't really show you outside unless I put it in the gravel again, but I'm not in the same spot, so it's kind of difficult. Pretty much, I'm sorry guys, I'm focusing, trying to learn stuff as I'm holding a camera, it doesn't work out well. It's pretty much the entire bottom. You can hear it. But 
I might just end up wrapping that and calling it a day instead of welding it or using some other deal there. So, but there's part two. Beautiful day. So, Alright, take care guys.